and I will bring Steve Harper from I to Desk to share his experience pivoting to business central dynamics. Make it easy for Steve because this is his first as well. Sorry, Steve, I didn't even click for your name. There you go. Nice to see you. Nice to see you in person. Um, tell us a little bit about what is your core offering and how long have you been in business? Uh, so, actually, yes, we've been around 18 years. Um, and its core offering is pretty much probably what everybody in this room does. So, I'll not really bore you with the ins and outs of that. And what prompts you to choose Dynamics, but really specifically the product, the business central solution for your customers? Um, we, we, we see a lot of sort of ERP inquiries. Um, oh, thank you. Cheers. Um, we see a lot of ERP inquiries, and we didn't have anything in the portfolio, so we'd often refer them to other partners that might deliver Sage or, or NetSuite. Um, and it was, it was around that time that we were working with Pax8 on another uh, initiative and they presented the business central offering specifically the bamboo model um, and that really resonated with us it, it looked a really good way for us to enter that space without a high set of costs of bringing in skilled people and um, you know with a history of doing it and um, there was a lot of support around the model and how how to get that to market perfect and obviously you're in a business for 12 for 18 years mm. sorry and this is still a brand new topic really for your business, yeah. what was the strategy that you've chosen to, in the first 12 months to engage customers? Yes, yeah, so in the first 12 months we, we initially sort of looked at our existing customer base and, and the, the team at Paxa were great in the, in the sense of helping us understand the, the cloud ascent data to look at where there are the active opportunities that we could go after straight away. Um, but then beyond that we kind of felt that we wanted a separate brand for the, for the ERP stuff basically because uh, regionally for us, the market is quite saturated in terms of MSPs, so the messaging is often a lot of white noise. Um, so we decided to set up a separate brand that was completely business central focused with the view of hopefully that will attract new customers to the business and then we can cross sell our other services to them at that point. Perfect. And what was the Paxate? How did Paxate support you on your dynamic journey? It's been brilliant to be fair. I'd say, um, you know, understanding the, the cloud ascent data, there's, you know, just getting his head around the product, where it fits, what questions to ask, what the right questions to ask. Um, more importantly, kind of when, when to kind of say no, if, 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 it's, if it's not the right opportunity. Um, and then in terms of sort of the, just the pre-sales, I mean, we have a, a Teams channel between sort of some of the key guys at Pax8 and, and our team, which means from a pre-sales point of view, we can ask questions and get answers really quickly. So from the from the end customer experience, um, it's just an improved improved situation. Okay, everybody thinks we just told you to sell the. No, 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 no. Just tell us the challenge. Just tell us the challenge. Just tell us the challenge because it's it is it's a unique, very unique topic to talk to clients about and get your head around mm -hmm. the type of product. What was the biggest challenge you came across when you started Dynamics? Um, it probably for me, I, I, I often, I don't like saying no to customers a lot of the time. So, um, I would always sort of try and find a solution. What, what became clear with, with the, with the, the bamboo model is we needed to trust that process and understand when to say no and why we're saying no, just because again, we, we never did business central before, but I had previously we had seen some really bad implementations of, of NAV and, and business central. And I think. What's clear to me now is it's because the people at Plenty maybe didn't understand when they should say no or when they were reaching. Um, so yeah, looking looking at now, I, I can completely see why. You know, we've looked at um, you know some of the before we meet forms, you've kind of gone, it's not really a fit for the model. Um, whereas I think without that guidance, we'd have probably fallen into some pretty big potholes that we've been able to shortcut because of the guidance. Yeah, that makes sense. And some some MSPs are quite reserved when they when we tell them we want to match them with a partner rather than doing a you know in house pro serve work. What is your experience working with third party companies? I mean, again, we've 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 never sort of believed in doing anything unless we can do it right. So we've often worked with strategic partners to refer work to, and and this is no different whether it's like working with you guys and. Um, or even when we've had an opportunity that's turned out not to be a business central specific one, we've gone down the matchmaker route. I mean, I've worked with all we news in the room, sort of somewhere at Cloud9 um, inside on CRM projects, because again, if we can't do it properly, we'd rather work with somebody that can. 
and make sure the customer is going to get the right experience. Perfect. What's your plans for next 12 months? So we just really, really just want to keep accelerating on the journey that we're on. So um, as I say, because we've gone down a new brand route, we're kind of heavily focused on sort of fine tuning the marketing campaign, the inbound lead generation. And then from there, it's more looking at things like designations, because as much as you guys have been fantastic, you know, we've kind of said from day one that we want to look at how we can build our own practice and be, bring some of that skill in house when the time's right. So we'll look at the, the training tracks that we need to be on for the guys or if we need to bring in new people at that point. Um, for the designation side of things and yeah hopefully look at bringing the support element back into our team sort of when the time's right. Perfect, now last question for anybody sitting here what will be the advice? I think it just goes back to the tr trust in the model I think you, you've kind of you've got to appreciate it's a bit of a tried and tested thing so rather than thinking oh well you know we'll try and shortcut and do it this way um, just trust trust what what, what the guys are saying because they, they are everybody in the biz apps team is incredibly knowledgeable and, and can't really do enough for you so i just said trust trust them all thank you so much thank you very much you guys Hope you enjoyed <laughs>